up several dozen Protoss warships descending upon Tarsonis. They seem to be heading on a direct course to the primary Zerg hive. If they engage the Zerg, the Confederates may escape. Commander, send Lieutenant Kerrigan with a strike force to engage the Protoss. Captain Raynor and General Duke will stay behind with the command ship. First you sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're gonna send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. Why are you doing this, Kerrigan? Look, I know about your past. I mean, I've heard the rumors. I know you were part of those experiments with the Zerg that Megs came and saved you. But you don't owe him this. Hell, I saved your butt plenty of times. Jimmy, drop the knight in shiny armor routine. That suits you sometimes. Just not, not now. I don't need to be rescued. I know what I'm doing. The Protoss are coming to destroy the entire planet, not just the Zerg. I know that because, well, I just know it. Welcome everyone to the last mission to uh <laughs> well you get to see Sarah Kerrigan for a while on well, well, last mission you can play as Sarah Kerrigan as Terran. This is New Gettysburg, the I hate this mission mode. And this is where I perform full mech again. This is <laughs> <laughs> Another, it's, it's over 30 minutes to go long, but be prepared, it's going to be like this for a while. This mission, do not, I repeat, do not uh, attack or basically destroy any of the Zerg buildings on this mission in the top left of the map. That entire ramp section that's the Fog of War, if you basically build an academy and a scanner and a comm tower, do not build it. You, there's the Zerg Hive Cluster right there. Outstanding. That is supposed to be left alone, but that doesn't mean that you should stop, that you should not pay attention. Build a bunker right near that factory. It'll help early on. Sometimes the, uh, sometimes Zerglings will crown down, but majority of your uh, attack, uh, Zerg attacks, will come from where the barracks is. Build a bunker right there too, and put uh, three marines and uh, Kerrigan is not going to be useful this mission anyway. So just put Kerrigan in that bunker. She'll be useful in that bunker. Go. Uh, let's see here if she has new. I don't know. Uh, I'll see. Because bunker is good. Bunker is very good. So. Alright, so your defense that you should only be worried about is a couple of siege tanks near the bunkers and reduce surface area around that bunker for in case there are any attacks. And Zealous, yes, we are fighting Protoss here. The main strike force of Protoss is Dragoons and Zealots. Okay, so yeah. Kerrigan cannot call down nukes, I thought. Just to make clear, just to make sure of last mission. After a while, just, yeah, just, just leave those, uh, leave those vultures right there by that bunker. They'll be useful still. And, and also, build a refinery as soon as possible. Get gas going as much, as soon as you can. Keep building SCVs, and you'll be fine for the rest of this mission. Just make sure you, uh, build an, an engineering bay to uh, deal with mutant attacks. I've actually had mutant attacks around that factory to strike north. It's not fun! I swear! 
Another yawn again. I, I'm, I'm tired. I should have thought this clear, but he knows. Well, but yes. The more SCVs you have mining, make sure you're on top of your supply, everything like that. And as soon as you got, as soon as your economy is like stabilized enough, then you can go into tank, vulture, and maybe Goliath production. Uh, but you're not going to see any air units from the Protoss. You'll be fight, you'll be fighting mainly uh, dragoons and zealots. No reavers, no, no scouts at all. So, even though the guy, I'm looking at the guy says you'll be fighting scouts. No. Oh yes, that over, there will be overlords just uh, patrolling sectors. Anyway, just and there's the queen. Slow down. That's the ensnare trap that slows down all movement speed. It can hamper your your uh, economy like that by a couple minutes. It's it's a long it's a long um, spell. It's like lockdown. It goes away after a while. Not enough minerals. Oh, I'm, I'm so, so, you do get a dropship, but the game tells you, hey, uh, you can go down to the uh, bottom, like uh, around the 9 o'clock position of this map, and uh, there's some minerals right there, and you can build a convention. No, no, thank you. I'll, I'll, I've got one in here. I'd rather have a strike force ready to move out. Sorry, I will be yawning constantly through this voiceover. I don't know why I'm doing it. Probably because I need some water or something like that. But anyways, so you're going to be using like every, if you're doing this like without tank, you're going to be needing tanks mainly for this mission. I mean, I mean fire bats are nice for this mission too. I copy that. Yeah. Strap yourself in, boy. Ready to roll out! I copy that. Yes, sir. Delighted to, sir. I'm listening. Buckle up. Orders, Captain. Yes, sir. Orders, Captain. Let's see here. I'm looking at this for a second. Give me a second. Not enough minerals. Oh, no. You can, theoretically, but the zealots are, are mean in this game. Very Not mean. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. I'm spamming for SCVs. I want my economy beautiful. But apparently, uh, we're just going to uh, ignore it. But the game tells you to build battle cruisers. We're not going to be building battle cruisers this mission. We're going to be building it next mission. So we're going to be winning with just mech. And this is doable. Siege tanks, um, Goliaths, and vultures. These are these are really good, cost-effective units. And they're really good, but you gotta give the siege tanks some buffer because of the splash damage and they can kill each other. So you wanna keep the siege tanks alive, send some vultures to whatever place you want, send them to, and build one missile turret right there by those three supply depots. Because Mutos will spawn from their end. Uh, we'll just take care of it for you. Uh, yawn, again, I, I'm terrible. So this second factory right here by the bunker will be just purely for building vultures and goliaths. Um, we're just going to ignore, not put a machine shop on there. We're just gonna focus out of one, one or two factories right now for economy wise see? and build up our economy to the point where, hey, like, to be honest, look at this right now. The, those mineral, SV mine minerals, that's actually pretty good right now. So you still can build more, always build more. It, you can never have enough SCVs in this game. Always send them to mine after they're built. Because this is not StarCraft 2, this is basically StarCraft 4. Workers have to be, uh, have to be uh, ordered to go mine. So these two, yeah, but these two sea tanks, that's all you need. Um, man, look at that. They're, they're so beautiful. They make quick work. Uh, Hydras and Zerglings will not get near your base. They're evenly spread out, so they actually can cover each other. I'm just remembering what. Yeah. I'm just 
just basically scouting him. Like, wait, is there another mineral patch here? Oh, there it is. See, this is the mineral patch I was talking about. It's not big mineral resource, and there's the best being geyser. Uh, here's my suggestion is uh, build a command center on the on the mineral site, and make sure you have something to protect it with, because uh, after a while you will be starting to see mutas actually hit that expansion area if you're basically building there. Those overlords are watching and giving a lot of intel to them. So just keep that keep that in mind. So there's two Protoss bases in this no mission. Problem. One at the, uh... Oh, is it? There it is. One in the, uh... Um, five o'clock position. Uh, in the bottom right position. And one in the, uh, top right position. So... You got to... Basically, you have two choices. One, you could probably go down to, uh... The south and clear that out. Which... Is not bad, because both... Both areas actually do have a good amount of minerals for you to use. So, if you kill one, you kill one, and you basically set a command center to build down there. Now, after you, now later on, after we've destroyed everything, there will become to a point where the Zerg will just like, oh, we're gonna overrun you. This is a scripted win. You're guaranteed to lose this base. Guaranteed. The, it, even if you want to have some fun, you can basically uh, put on the power overwhelming cheat, and <laughs> you won't die. <laughs> it's actually kind of hilarious, but you will die due to friendly fire, due to your siege tanks. I'm, I'm microing. I'm, here I am trying to micro. I'm, 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 I'm bored. That's. I don't know. But anyway, we're building our first armory. We're going to get our first upgrade. <laughs> At this point, like, oh wait, uh, I don't have a science facility. I'll be building a starport shortly afterwards to uh, build the subpar port. Uh, building a command center on your on at your main base is actually pretty good still. It you're you're still protecting it, and then you can float it down to the middle patch and get resources. So just stay on top of your supply. Everything's good. Everything's nice. This is fine. Just make sure you basically send your SUVs back to mining and all this other stuff. So. At this point, um, you should be uh, having all your upgrades researched off the uh, off the machine shop. Your oh boy, no problem. Your the spider mine, the vulture upgrade, and the siege mode. You should always you should have that immediately upgraded. I'm, I'm having way too much fun. I was having too much fun. But yes. Afterwards, you'll be good to go, and la di da da This mission is in the bag. So, just make sure you uh, keep an account I count on your heart, your investment gas. Notice how I basically built, moved the command center closer to the mineral patch. Um, the mineral patch. It's it's very far space. Like you, you have a uh, a a choice. Either you get a uh, faster gas or faster minerals. I would say get more minerals as quickly as possible because it's faster that way. Way faster for your income. Um, you can still send a lot of SCVs to uh, basically the I don't know. The, base, the refinery, the geyser, yes, to to yeah, still to want? still basically have that gas come, but it'll be slower that way. And this is a point yeah, where I'm like realizing yeah, I do sir, not have any anti-air yet. I, I mean, positioning some tanks right there is nice. It's like yes, you're 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 expanding out in the area. Yes, spider mines are beautiful. They they deal with the uh, SCVs. They deal with the uh, zealots so quickly. At this point, you want to rally your your vehicles outside this uh, wall right here, where the bear, that second bear, that second factory, that barracks, and two depots are. Right away, sir. Ready to roll out. And uh, you'll be at like three, three in no time. Okay. At this point, Complete. you don't. Uh, you see me basically building a refinery. Don't do that. Um, 
start building a Goliath or a Missile Turret, because see this Overlord right here? He sees everything. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. So basically, yes, sir. Your are oh yes. yes sir. Just so, so this is three six right there, and bam. Stay cool, Commander. Remember the plan. The Zerg had to remain unharmed. That doesn't mean the Zerg had to kill, kill me. I don't want. So at this point, just uh, build that one missile turret, and but you're. You're gonna lose that sea shank. You might as well just give it a loss. I mean, it's one sea shank. I mean, yes, you're one, you're down one sea shank. But the, the important thing is that you protect this command center and get the turrets up and running. So those beaters will fly to your base and will attack the bunker, and will do chip damage to the tanks or the uh, factory or, or anything that's in range. So just keep in mind of that. At this point, start just building Goliaths and still keep building Vultures. You can, however, start adding more factories to this, at this point. But the main important thing is for you to have, I don't know, shall I say, more... Uh, a science facility built at this point. You have to have it built in order for you to... Uh, get your secondary upgrades going. So this refinery that's been built, the third you saw me building that third command center for a reason. I built it for a reason. This this command center is going to be going to uh, where that refinery is to help increase refinery production. And um, never underestimate the power of Terran buildings. Like the walls are beautiful. Like we want to we want to basically protect the SCVs from mining. We want to uh, do a lot of this stuff. We want to also increase our supply and all this other stuff. So as soon as this command center lands, oh no, I was like, oh. Because this command center that's landing was where I was building the turret. I'm like, oh wait, I basically put the command center there. It will interrupt it. I need the uh, gas income. So now I'm basically stockpiling gas. I mean, like, you can start building your first battle cruiser at this point, but why would you? don't want to do that and I realized my error way oh no I'm missing my science facility I need my starport because the tech tree requires you to build a starport then a science facility then you can upgrade then you get the upgrade two and three and that's basically this mission in a nutshell we're like about halfway through again this is something very something so I'm at a point. You're getting. You're getting at this point. Like, hey, wait. I have enough resources. I can probably go attack one of these areas. Best news about Winamines. They actually at uh, Spider-Man's. What are you on? I. Why do I, I call it Winamines? Talking about Starcraft too. But the spider mines actually add a lot of. Uh, still add vision for the siege tank, so they're really, really good. And we'll be uh, figuring out real quickly when I start go killing. Um, I'm just waiting for till I basically get to uh, build the uh, science facility. Huh? Well, SCV SCV pathing. It's funny. We're just gonna move the command center over there, over to where we can actually uh, help increase that point. Eh, that's fine. That command center won't be useful for uh, building stuff anyway. We left a siege tank over there anyway, just to protect, just to protect it, and make it a wall. So as soon as the science facility is done, we are done with the starport, and we are done with the science facility. We are basically uh, building mech from this point on, and we're building our our fourth factory. I miss <laughs> I miss seeing the fit the third factory go now, but. There, we're going to be building a lot more units, and we're going to be basically ending this, so I don't have to deal with this ever again. Be like, because as everyone has actually played StarCraft II, like Queen's Wings Liberty, you saw how dick, how much of a dick Arcturus can be. Yeah, he's a dick. He must die. He will die. Look at that. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, look, there goes the queen. Yep, that's the first look at the uh, StarCraft queen. Uh, well, second look at it. I think, yeah, Nora 2 showed it, but I, I didn't see it as much. I didn't show it as much, but we'll be. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're getting there. So, right now, I'm basically uh, moving out towards the uh, this this Protoss base down here. I mean, I'm going to go kill it. I'm just waiting for my units to back up. So, we're, we're going to go on an adventure. <laughs> More... Uh, Tanks, more Goliaths, more Vultures, everything to make your life a living fun time. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. This game is this game's fun. Very fun. And engaging too. And we are approaching the last mission too. Uh the hammer. The hammer falls. And it's cle clearly to me the hard one of the hardest missions so far. It's the hard. It's the hardest Terran mission because it, it 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 comes out as a curveball, a curveball, and the AI in this game do what this uh, mission does. So this is a this is a big curveball. So with this strike force, we have um, two siege tanks and two glides. That's that's decent. And we have vultures with us. The, these uh, vultures are vultures. Well, like a scrub. We're going to be positioning our siege tanks up right here. They'll be shelling from the high ground and uh, protecting. And we'll be just start destroying stuff while basically building up our resource, while build, building up a new army and more army and more army and more army just to go kill these, kill the Protoss. I mean, I like Protoss. Protoss is awesome. This is a uh, this is a uh, brute war this is brute war for us brute war for us it shows no mercy by the way doesn't have any mercy there's no mercy oh you'll be seeing shortly about this uh, attack wave it's, it's it's hilarious so I'm moving to see Saints forward basically just start shelling like head crazy. And here we go, the flooding of units already. Um, just while basically just um, I'm, here I am moving units down to give some good covering areas as well. And here's another strike force from the uh, right side. Eh, take care. See, see, thanks. Brilliant. Two, two. <laughs> I don't know why I built a control tower. I don't know why I did it. Oh, that's right, science vessel. Science vessels. Science vessels are awesome. Though I wasn't good to use it so much. They'll be just mainly due to technically observers. Yeah, this is not bad of a raid. Rubble's done. And uh, the first science vessel and the only science vessel that's gonna be killed. Yeah. Now look at that. One HP tank. Look at that. Running. Running. Run tank, run. I'm going to lose this tank, but it's it's hilarious too. Look at this. See, the splash splash damage got it killed. Brave tank, I say. Brave tank to, run, to drag two zealots to the siege line. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Proceed. So, so, basically, this is a. Uh, there's our science vessel again, and our three three. Uh, command. So we're now going to be sending the rest of these units here down here to destroy everything. And there's our first defensive structure, the uh, photon cannon. And. We got enough siege tanks here to uh, raid this base and uh, make sure that we have nothing. Just, just 
make sure that you uh, don't lose your Goliaths. Because that shuttle, Harat, that shuttle will be annoying every single time. Because he's already bringing over the reinforcements. See, look, there's the um, next attack. <laughs> and look. Um, look, at that, look at that Ultra. Look at that Ultra. This is, uh, this is the StarCraft 1 Ultra. <laughs> Wait, how did I lose that? How did I lose that? I don't know. How did I lose that Siege Snake? I, I'm baffled. I was repairing it. How did I how did die? Brutally? Maybe. Oh, I'm out of low, running low on minerals. Running out of minerals. <laughs> mine. Go mine. So, at this point, uh, Widow Mines are really good in this situation in the late game. Oh, I just lost them. <laughs> Splash damage can also kill your units when you're too close to a building, too. Ah, uh, StarCraft 1, you, you don't change at all. You don't don't change. So, this mission is coming to a close. We're, we're literally coming to the end of this. We're going to, we're basically putting up the last defenses on our little expansion. Look at this beautiful mineral patch area. We're going to be building, sending an SCP to uh, build command center. And we're going to float that command center down to here. We're, we're, we're finishing up right now. We're basically just going to position, destroy this assimilator. And kill the rest of these buildings over here. The sea shanks destroy everything. They do a lot of damage. Look at this. Watch this tank. Bam. Well, that can just stood no chance. Um, don't, now, don't count that this is the last that we'll play Terran yet. We have one more mission with the Terran race itself, and as a, as a special treat for the entire game, we, we get we get a good mission. A ver the final mission of this game that we can do a lot of things, too. And it's going to be a doozy. A very good time, too. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. <laughs> because uh, uh, I, I think everyone that's played Brood War knows exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to uh, that supply counter. Well, <laughs> when when you just want to fiddle around with Dark Archons. Yes, Dark Archons. Yeah, siege tanks in unsiege mode are really good still. Uh, we're sending this. Uh, we're sending this hit squad up to the north, and now we're basically going to end this mission. So we have more units down. We're, we have more units, and there's our three three. We're now sending this command center over there. You know, I could. You know, you could start sending SUVs and start mining, but the mining process would be long. We're now sending these. Uh, these units all the way to where the rest of our army is, and then bam, we're going to end the, this mission. See, look, there's the Protoss base. Get, get the, uh, move the vultures out of the way. Get these four siege tanks in position and start raining down destruction and get these stallions to back up. Bam! <laughs> four siege tanks. That, that, that stood no chance. Just make sure you uh, add uh, some. Just make sure the zealots go down. There we go. A move. We don't. And we're just uh, sending stuff here. We're just leaving our uh, rest of our stuff here. We have a lot more stuff. We're just building more, build more, 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 more units. We want this mission to end. We want that firepower, that DPS, everything. And uh, right now, this is basically the end of the game. The mission. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and uh, thanks. Thanks for uh, sticking around. This is a. Uh... Oh no. Now, here's the thing. Like I forgot to mention, like every Protoss, every building has to be destroyed to trigger the ending part of this. So, after the uh, last Protoss buildings fall, we're going to be stopping right now. Stopping up there. Stopping. I'm going to be uh, shutting up right now because we got the best. Well, they basically redid this in StarCraft 2, but one of the best uh, betrayals. And it's, it's not the best betrayal, it's the most annoying, heinous betrayal. So you know what? 
I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time in the Hammer Falls. This is Kerrigan. We've neutralized the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave her! All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. Base is under attack. Uh, boys? How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Your forces are under attack.